Okay, so this model is my dream fish. It started out somewhere around 2012 as my model of the thing. And it was had a lot more nose out here, what I call the shoulder of the board right here. And so what I did was I removed that and brought in the nose, I think about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and left everything from here out the tail the same. And it turned it into a really a steep wave board because by taking this shoulder out, you can just knife it into the face of the wave. However, with that being said, again, it has the wider planing surface throughout to where you can ride flat face waves on it. And you're gonna get a good response out of it. And this board again has a short board rocker to it. Has the same high point. Everything runs forward, everything runs back to where when you're turning, this area really is in between your feet. My edges are exactly where I put them on the, on the prototype. Everything is exactly how I, how I wanted them to be. Again, this is built with the uh, SurfTech HD, uh, Fusion HD construction. Very strong. And for somebody like myself that builds the boards from start to finish, um, I'm really, really impressed with everything about the construction. EPS is expanded polystyrene foam. It usually comes in a billet, much like your ice chest foam, anything like that. It comes in different densities and it comes in a billet to where it's wire cut. And that's what the majority of uh, surfboard builders in America are using, even including myself. What this is, this is a beaded foam. It's actually fused in a, in a, in a mold. And what I found the difference between when I used beaded foam uh, and EPS, EPS will tend to substrate gas. Um, this cell structure is tighter on beaded foam so you're not going to get the substrate gassing. Uh, and what I mean by that is that as this board, not this board, but as an EPS board heats up, it will start to, ex the air will start to escape and it'll search out any weak spot of the board and it could, it could cause a structural damage. The beaded foam, however, is a tighter structure cell that it really, it holds the uh, epoxy resin real well. I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful constructed board. Very strong. So this, this board has one layer of six ounce on the bottom, has a layer of six ounce biax on the deck and it's capped with a four ounce over that, which makes this really strong. I'm, I'm very glad that SurfTech chose to use my fins with uh, with our models because I believe the fin is very important with the board you purchase. Uh, Maserati doesn't sell their cars without tires and rims uh, and they choose the ones that they think belong on the board and I feel the same way about my boards. I don't want my boards being ridden with plastic fins. I want my boards ridden with the fin that I designed for the board. I really uh, am pleased with the NVS their construction of G10 composites. They're not a molded fin, they're, they're foiled on a, on a CNC machine. So the foils are exact every time. Really crisp edges, they're really strong. The flex is really, really good on them. Everything about these fins are high quality. I can't speak highly enough of, of these boards, of how they're constructed and exactly what I had, had envisioned with the uh, SurfTech.